butter, I'm going to put three tablespoons of sugar. Now, of course, you want less sugar, you can add less. You want to have a sugar substitute, you could use a sugar substitute. Okay, this is really to taste. So about three tablespoons of the sugar. While I'm getting the sugar out, give that a mix. Okay. And then I'm going to add Kool-Aid. This Kool-Aid, this, this experiment will not work with all Kool-Aid. What you want to look on in the ingredients is that first thing right there. And what does it say in the ingredients? Citric acid. Citric acid. This Kool-Aid contains citric acid. I selected the Kool-Aid invisible so that we can see maybe the bubbles more visible. The invisible Kool-Aid <laughs> makes the bubbles visible. Look at the bubbles. <laughs> no, not yet. We're not done yet. Okay. What have, what have we just made? We just made pop? Kool-Aid? <laughs> we just made Kool-Aid. We're going to enhance the Kool-Aid. We're going to kick it up a notch. Okay, we're going to make this pop, this Kool-Aid pop. So keep mixing it. Um, it's going to take some time for that water to give room. Here's a science explanation with Kool-Aid. It's going to take time for that water to give that sugar and Kool-Aid mix some room. So that's why it looks cloudy. Okay, plus you're putting air in there. So just kind of keep mixing it. While you're mixing it, and we're going to let it go sort of invisible where it's clear and colorless, I'm going to give you this little, ex this little um, science investigation with, with just putting salt in the pop. Ready? Sweet. Whoa, what a mess. That's like a volcano. Look at that. Look at that. What did you observe with that? It fizzed over the top. Fizzed over the top. It, was there still a gas in the water, that carbon dioxide? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the salt did? Do you think it put more gas in there, or do you think it brought more of the gas out? Brought more of the gas out. Brought more of the gas out. So there's our test if we have pop. Okay? What is this? Nice, simple test. What is it? Baking soda. Baking soda? Hmm. I guess if you want to call it baking soda, you can call it baking soda. But I call this sodium bicarbonate. Can you say that? Sodium bicarbonate. Excellent. This is sodium bicarbonate. You're going to add some of the sodium bicarbonate into your Kool-Aid. Half a teaspoon? Yep, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of the sodium bicarbonate into your invisible Kool-Aid. What do you observe right away when you added that? Right at the top of your mixture. Bubbles. Bubbles, OK. Do you see bubbles forming in your mixture? If you look close. Look yep. close. Do you see it? Yep. Look close. Amanda, look close. <laughs> Good. OK, so you have your container bubbles. here, clear and colorless. You want to do the salt test? Sure. Do you want to make as big of a mess as I did? Yes. Oh, no. Well, in that case, <laughs> let's put a container underneath it because there's mess to be made, which can be fun. And of course, I brought a, out a container that hold, has holes in it, <laughs> but it should catch some of it. Go ahead and pour some of your salt in there. Okay, It's fun to, be, to you know, make the mess and be creative. But we learned our first science lesson that, hey, how about put a container underneath the next time? And that's fun. OK, stop. Let's see what's happening. What do you see? Do you see fizzing? Yeah, the whole thing's fizz. Yeah, the whole thing's fizzing. So there's the evidence that, that carbon dioxide possibly could be in there, okay?